All right, ladies and gentlemen, usually when I'm telling a story about a Minecraft kid on the channel, it's a stranger, you know? But today, the person who sent this in to me ended up getting smacked in the head with a boat oar by their cousin over Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, we're talking about it. Let's go. All right, so the person who ended up sending this in to me was at a family reunion that was going to be going on for a week, and it was down by a lake that was pretty close to where a lot of his family lived, you know? And he had a really, really big family. His grandparents had had a bunch of kids, and you know, if you have a bunch of aunts and uncles, if they have some kids, it can get pretty large, and it's old enough where some of his cousins have kids. So we're talking an absolutely massive family, but somehow, by just, like, terrible odds, there was only one cousin that was directly his age, you know? And it happened that they would get paired up for everything. Oh, your cousin, your cousin, your cousin. And while usually that would be cool, it just so happened that this guy's cousin was one of those kids that could, like, technically be a vampire, you know? If you really wanted to rate him as far as somebody who never, ever wanted to go outside and, like, was almost terrified of sunlight because, uh, they just spent so much time just never interacting with anything, that could be his cousin. Literally, it was like the guy had, you know, put morphine on his screen at some point and become addicted. He never wanted to go outside. He just always had to be on his phone, his iPad, you know, a gaming console. Something had to be in front of his face. And I'm not talking about just liking to be on your phone because there's nothing going on, you know, but like to the point that they were at a lake house and he couldn't get this dude off of his iPad to go outside and like throw rocks in a lake, you know. To give you guys an idea of how addicted this dude's cousin was to like technology and electronics. So, you know, being at a lake for a week, it wasn't a situation where like the cabin the kids were at had power. The main house where all the adults were staying had, you know, the full shebang TV power, water, all that stuff, but they had a couple guest cabins that were just more like a cabin. And so they had put the kids in the cabin, and it just so happened that this guy had become so upset at the idea of having to spend a week without electricity and being able to game that he had bought a generator, or should I say made his parents buy him a generator, and then also forced them to sign up for like satellite internet for the week that they were going to be there, so that way he wouldn't have to miss out on anything. And I mean, listen, man, I love me some technology. It's literally my job. I play more video games than any grown adult should. That being said, I'm not out here like, oh, we're going camping. I need a generator and satellite internet in the area. Otherwise, I'm not going. At that point, in my opinion, that's like basically heroin addiction levels of being addicted to the internet. No, mom, you don't understand. You call them up and you get a trial for their sat satellite internet. Otherwise, I'm not going going to the family reunion. Like seriously, dude, you're really out here with a generator running 24-7 at a cabin because you just have to play Xbox? Regardless, the game that he was into at this time just happened to be Minecraft. You know, the addiction would rotate, it would change from time to time, and I'm not blaming the game at all. I don't think Minecraft makes you go out and hit your cousin with an oar from a boat. It just so happened that this dude's cousin was nuts, and it happened to be Minecraft at this particular time when, like, you know, he was uh, going crazy. And what I don't understand about this is like, all right, bringing a generator is pretty addicted. But bringing a generator to play Minecraft makes even less sense to me because like, isn't outside basically just real Minecraft? 99% of people playing Minecraft would agree with me and be like, yeah, okay, sure, it's a video game. But as far as like walking outside and being able to be in nature near a lake, it's literally outdoors. You don't have to play it virtually. You know, he's literally just out here like, oh man, I built this awesome lake house in Minecraft, looks to his left, sees a real lake house. I love playing Minecraft. Like, he was literally so into playing Minecraft, he didn't realize he had the real version outside, you know? There's certain games I don't want to play the real version of. I'm not really trying to play real-life CSGO. No, thank you. Real-life Grand Theft Auto? Absolutely not. Don't put me on the list. But yeah, like a nice little peaceful retreat where I can walk around nature and just like uh, look at stuff like Minecraft, you know? The only difference is there's no zombies trying to kill me at night. I'll take that. Somebody needed to let this guy know in some nerd terms what was going on. Hey, bro, the latest patch notes said that, uh, you know, you, you were transported and this week it's IRL stuff. Like, you just gotta try to, like, talk to him in a way that he might understand. Because I feel like walking up to him and being like, you do know the outdoors has the same freedom you're playing in the game. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna land. 
Anyways, I can rant all day about how dumb it is to be, like, doing this. But obviously, this dude was so addicted to games. He brought a generator camping. So, you know, no amount of my ranting is going to change that. And everybody that was in the cabin with them was getting really annoyed. Because if you've ever been around a generator, those things aren't necessarily quiet. So there's, like, this constant hum in the background. Everybody's kind of irritated. But whenever anybody says anything to him about the generator, he's just like, Shut up! I need it! You know, he's just immensely defensive of the generator. You would think it was like something that he actually needed he hasn't drinking water in 13 days someone walks out with a thing of Dasani he's like give me it that was the way he was treating this generator and as much as this kid's lame for bringing the generator I do really got to question the parents for a second because like why did y'all buy him a generator to bring camping you didn't have to do that you know call me crazy but if I ever asked my parents to buy me a generator before we went camping they would have looked at me and been like haha that's funny no like, it is a little bit on them for letting him bring his Xbox and run a generator 24-7. Anyways, I digress. You guys get the point. This guy's got some issues. It all culminates in a day, though, where they were going to have a family kayak race. The week had been awesome, but, you know, the grandparents had kind of organized this thing where on the last day of the family reunion, everyone was going to get together, have a little bit of a competition, race some kayaks. Wow, wow, oh, wow, doesn't that just sound like an absolutely fantastic time? The only catch was, you know, they were two-person kayaks, which meant that he was obviously going to have to be teamed up with Minecraft Cousin. And, you know, there was a little bit of a prize on the line. The winning team was going to get $500 from the grandparents, so obviously the subscriber wanted to win because who doesn't want $250? And while everything else that week had just been absolutely blown off and ignored by the Minecraft kid as stupid, not worth his time because it was time he wasn't gaming... The idea of $250 made him perk up a little bit, you know, he was like, hey, that's a lot of DLC that I can buy, you know, I can buy a hefty amount of video games with $250. So uh, when they were talking about this kayak race that was going to be upcoming, instead of sneering and being like, ew, outside, no thank you. He's not necessarily super opposed to the idea, so they get back to the cabin, and obviously they're talking a little bit because they knew they were going to be paired up in the kayak. And you would think that, you know, Gamer Cousin would be, like, a little bit gracious to his teammate that is going to be, like, pretty important in the kayak race because he's actually driven a kayak before. But instead, when they get back to the cabin, you know, Minecraft Cousin is like, you are not allowed to hold me back when we're doing this kayak race, okay? Like, there's a lot of money on the line, so you shouldn't mess around and hold me back at all. Keep in mind, this dude literally had not been outside at all this week. The subscriber literally has no idea what this dude's referring to, because there's no way he's going to be holding him back. The person who sent this in to me literally, like, has a one-person kayak that's just their kayak because they like to do it. And here they are getting yelled at by Minecraft Kid to, like, not, you know, slow them down. And so he doesn't really respond, so Minecraft Cousin continues, I tend to pick up on stuff really quick, alright? So you need to keep up your performance, because I'm going to get it down pretty quick, and I don't want to be held back by someone who's an amateur and not very good at picking up on new things. And obviously, he's insanely insulted because he's like, dude, what are you talking about? You know, if it was a Minecraft competition, maybe the ego would make sense. But you don't do the whole outside thing, so maybe quit pretending like you're going to be a god at it. But he's managing to bite his tongue because before they had come to the lake house, his mom had given him this whole talk about how he needed to be nice to his cousin because he's family and that's what family does. And, you know, she had said that, I guess, like, he didn't have a, a crap ton of friends at school, you know. Nobody bullied him or anything. Anything. he just wasn't very popular and I mean gee I wonder why you know there's nothing wrong with being a gamer at all I'm not insinuating that Minecraft or playing video games makes you unpopular I don't think that's true I feel like if anything everybody just plays video games these days you'd be more weird to me if you never played a video game than if you gamed a lot I'm talking about the fact that like he just immediately started screaming at his cousin to not hold him back without even asking him if he had any experience when he definitely has no experience driving a kayak. I feel like that attitude maybe won't get you a ton of friends, you know? Could you imagine this guy playing dodgeball? He's definitely never played it before, but when they're picking teams, he's like, Listen, you morons, if you're gonna be on my team, you need to protect me, okay? I'm not getting hit in the face with the ball so you idiots can have a good time. 
chances are he's getting picked last. It just is what it is. You know, I, I can't really blame anyone for not wanting him on the team at that point. Regardless, he's thinking about his mom's speech to him, so he manages to hold his tongue while he's going off about how he doesn't want to be held back by his cousin on the kayak. And so his response is like, all right, well, there's a two-person kayak out there, so how about we go practice? You know, we can like maybe learn if we're a good team or not, and if we're not a good team, we don't have to race together. And he thinks this is brilliant because he's like, awesome, maybe if, you know, it doesn't work out, he'll just get mad at me and do it on his own and I won't have to deal with this. So he goes down the lake and he's waiting for his cousin and he's waiting for an insanely long amount of time. You know, he figured it would just take a little bit for his cousin to change and come on down. And finally he comes down, but he's just covered in head to toe sun protection, man. An old grandma hat looking like he's about to go scuba diving more than just drive a kayak. And listen, you know, sunburns hurt. I'm not here to make fun of anybody. That's fair enough. But it did look a little bit like he might have been challenging the sun to a 1v1 or maybe like the reason he was so stressed out as he had borrowed money from the sun and now he was trying to hide from it and like changes his identity a little bit regardless it, it, you guys get an idea of the outfit it just wasn't very conductive to physical activity like hey i'm all for protecting yourself from the sun i'm not gonna make fun of him from that but yeah it's like 80 layers of clothing probably isn't going to make kayaking and rowing very easy on you and so whatever, he comes down and he's looking at his cousin and he's not even saying anything. And the subscriber's like, hey man, I'm just going to let you know that rowing is kind of a lot of moving in your arms. So I understand you want to be protected from the sun, but maybe just wear like one long sleeve t-shirt. So that way the sun isn't, you know, burning you or anything, but you're not being restricted by your clothing. Which to me is pretty fair. And even then, like if I'm on a kayak in water, I don't need more than just one shirt on, you know, at least I, I hope not. Like... Listen, if I'm going to be in the water so long that one long sleeve shirt isn't enough, I'm not very good at the whole kayaking thing. I should be doing a better job of staying in the boat. But whatever, he just says that to his cousin and it's honest advice. And his cousin rolls his eyes and is like, oh my god, my parents said the same thing when they saw me walking down here. Doesn't anyone know anything about fashion in this family? I'm not here to be good at rowing. I'm here to look good while I do it. And the subscriber is kind of confused because the outfit, like I said, did look like he was trying to roleplay as like a ghost or an old woman, you know? So I don't know what fashion he was referring to, but once again, just had to jump straight to insulting him. So he just drops it. He's like, you know what? Forget it. Forget I mentioned it. Don't worry about it. I, I don't know anything about fashion. You are totally right. My fashion expertise is just an, at an absolute zero. How dare I question the great illustrious Minecraft god that is wearing a hat from the 12th century out here. So whatever, they go and they're uh, setting up the two-person kayak and of course he has to drag it totally onto the land for his cousin to get in and then drag it back into the water because he didn't want to get anything on the lower part of his body wet. Those were his words. Which to me is like you could just say I don't want to get my shoes wet. You know, once again, if you're getting into a kayak and like like, you're getting all of the lower part of your body wet. You're doing something wrong about getting into the kayak. Whatever, they get into it and they start to paddle. And the subscriber, you know, isn't expecting a whole lot from his cousin, but figured that he would at least know how to row if he was being so confident about it, you know? Like, if you're going to come at your cousin and be like, you're a moron, don't hold me back. You better at least know how to row a boat. You would think that would be the bare minimum. But as they start to get going, he's in the front of the boat and the subscriber's like, man, we're going pretty slow. This is way harder than it should be. Anytime I've been on a two-person kayak, it hasn't been this hard to paddle the boat. Like, it almost feels like something's dragging me down. And so he looks back, and his cousin isn't doing anything. He's just kind of making eye contact with him, just holding the paddle, staring at him. And obviously, you know, the whole two-person kayak thing, the intention is that both people paddle. Otherwise, yeah, the person in the front's going to have a very hard time because they're just kind of dragging the person. It's doable. You're going to move in the water, but that's not the way you're supposed to do it. And especially if you're practicing for a race, getting it done quickly is kind of one of the more important things you got to do, right? Like if you're in a race and you're just going half the speed you could be, you're just automatically going to lose. Even if grandma and grandpa themselves are racing, if they're both paddling they're probably going to beat the team where only one person's doing any work so he looks at his cousin and he's like hey man can you please paddle like what are you doing back there you know you're supposed to help me out it's it's a team thing i need a little bit of help and his cousin looks at him and dead seriously goes yeah man i'll help i'll help fine 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 but what button do i need to press to get it going you know nobody taught me the tutorial for this 
and the subscriber is like waiting for him to laugh and be like, nah, I'm kidding, but he's dead serious and he has no clue what to say because how do you reply to that? So he says it again. He's like, dude, what do I need to press to get this going? Like, come on, I've never done this before. You need to tell me the controls. And the subscriber has no idea what to say because he's like, buttons, controls, what? I'm not sure of the controls. How do I make it move? His cousin is now just kind of yelling at him now. And so it takes him a little bit. And finally, the subscriber is like, I guess I will tell him how to move his arms to row the boat. I don't know if that's what he's talking about by the controls or what. But like, he's starting to think that his cousin might actually think for some reason that if you're in a kayak, there's like a button you press to make it row automatically, which is just not how like, manual boats work you, if you have an oar chances are there's not a button to press to make it go so obviously there's just kind of this awkward moment where his cousin is like you need to tell me how the controls work and the subscribers just kind of staring at him because how do you even reply to that you know he has no clue what to say so he goes through with the thought that he's having in his brain to tell him how to move his arms and so he's explaining to him how to take his arms and move an oar and he's as he's doing this like I don't even know how to explain this because I've never had to explain something like that, you know? So he's like, okay, you take your right arm and you raise it and you push it forward and then you dip it down and pull it back. Like he's literally explaining how to move an oar. And so his cousin's looking at him very intently and finally he finishes his explanation of how to row a boat and his cousin looks and thinks for about 15 seconds, you know, just sitting there. And he goes, yeah, I don't really do the whole physical activity thing, you know. Um, I didn't realize that that's what this was. I thought there was going to be an easier way to do this or like a system where I just kind of press something. So uh, I obviously still want to win the money. Like, I'm still interested in that because, of course, he was still interested in that. You know, wouldn't it be great if you don't have to do any physical activity and get the money? He's like, we were moving, so why don't you just row and we'll do it that way? And at that point, the subscriber's getting fed up because all of this is ridiculous. He's being rude. He's telling him not to hold him back. But now he just has to literally tow this dude in a race. Like, if we're talking about holding each other back... I feel like dead waiting and just asking the person to literally do all the work is the definition of holding them back. So he's kind of getting heated and he's like, no, there's no way that we're going to win this race if I'm dragging both of us in the kayak. That's going to slow us down so much. There's literally no way that that's going to work. If you want to win the money, then you have to figure out how to row or, or figure out something because there's no way me just doing all the work while you sit here is going to win. And his cousin is flabbergasted and angry at that, which is just a matter of fact. It's not even being rude. It's just reality. And he's like, well, why not? Are you not strong enough to carry me in the kayak? Like, what's wrong with you? Why don't you have the ability to do that? If I've never done this before, you should be able to do it for the both of us. And at that point, he snaps. He's like, because it's for two people. Two. It's a two-person kayak. It's not a one person does all the work and the other person sits kayak. It's not for one person and a deadweight loser. That's what this team is starting to look like, but I'm not thinking that that's what it was designed for. And obviously, it's the first time all week he snapped at his cousin. And overall, deadweight loser is a pretty tame insult compared to everything that's gone down, right? But I guess it's enough to absolutely set off the Minecraft kid, because the next thing that the subscriber remembers is his cousin lifting his paddle out of the water and taking it and smacking him in the head, which, you know, definitely did not feel too good. Even if it's not from somebody that's got a whole ton of strength, I'm assuming that getting smacked in the head with an oar is definitely not too good or not too great for your brain. I've never been smacked in the head with an oar, so I'm not too sure if I can like verifiably sign off on that statement. Maybe it doesn't hurt, but I'm going to think that it hurts, especially because the person described their head afterwards as ringing. Like he got smacked in the head with an oar and his head's ringing. He really couldn't think clearly, like his vision was a little blurry. And listen, kayak oars aren't like a canoe or it's not some giant wooden paddle but if you're not expecting it getting smacked in the head by anything doesn't feel too good so at that point he's pissed off he's angry and so he lifts up his paddle and he turns around and he smacks his cousin not in the head but right in the chest with his paddle and he pushes him out of the boat basically and obviously it was pretty funny you know he kind of smacks him hard and he falling out of the kayak and he's like whoa you know he kind of freaks out a bit and this guy's head is still ringing because he just got smacked in the head so he, after his cousin falls out of the boat he paddles away a little bit just to make sure that his cousin doesn't you know flip the 
boat or grab the paddle and smack him again. And they were only about 10 feet away from shore. You know, it had been just him paddling while his cousins sit there and did nothing. So it's not like they had done a whole lot of work to get across this body of water, right? And so they're only about 10 feet from shore. So his cousin's not in danger or anything. Like, you know, it's not like he's going to drown. He literally can walk back to shore. He can stand. And so he gets a little bit away and he turns around the kayak and he's looking at his cousin and his cousin's standing up at that point. And he does like a motion that I can only say is replicatable by like Avatar and the airbender. You know when he's just kind of moving his arms around to like send a blast of air at somebody, his cousin's doing that and he goes, you're lucky I don't feel like ending you right now. Which to me is just a great threat, bro. Like, oh, okay, Avatar, what are you gonna send a blast of air at me? You just smacked me in the head with an oar and then I'm still trucking. I feel like you're whatever Jedi jujitsu you're doing over here is not that scary anymore. You're lucky I don't feel like ending you. That's big talk from somebody that just got smacked out of a kayak, all right? You know, like, if you had any real kung fu ability, you probably would have blocked the oar coming. Especially after you just smack somebody with an oar. Like, in my mind, if I hit someone with an oar, I'm like, they're gonna hit me with their oar. That's just the next common step. If you didn't see that coming, there's no way you're good at the whole combat thing. Anyways, his cousin storms out of the lake. He makes like the 10 feet walk over to the shore and he just starts running up into the house and he probably says something like he attacked me because his family comes out and as he's parking the kayak is pissed off at him. They're all like, what's wrong with you? Why would you attack our son? You know, you had no reason to do that. So obviously he had told them a story that wasn't really what happened. And he's had enough. He's been nice to this dude all week. He's been taking his crap. And he's like, listen, I didn't do anything wrong. Your kid hit me with a paddle. So I smacked him back. You know, that's what happened. And they're like, no, he would never. And he goes, yeah, no, he actually would. The reason your kid's not popular is because he sucks. And he says that to this kid's mom. And his cousin's mom is like, apologize right now. And the subscriber stays strong. He's like, no, I'm not apologizing. I'm not going to apologize. I don't feel sorry about what I said. And I'm not racing kayaks if I have to have him on my team because he literally does not know how to use an oar. Like, he does not know how to do that. He has spent so much time playing video games that he literally asked me what the controls are. And listen, obviously, you know, the cousin is at fault. It's on him. But at the same time, dude, if you're kid is playing video games to the point that like moving his arms is a confusing concept you're probably not doing very good at the whole parenting thing like that's a level of terminally online i did not know existed either way the family was mad that he wouldn't like you know just get over it and still do the kayak race with his cousin which I i'm not really mad at him for that dude if you smack me in the head with an oar i'm not doing a competition where i have to do all the work to make us win like honestly we all know this kayak race he's literally gonna have to drag his cousin the entirety of the way after he got smacked in the head and probably has a concussion no thanks and his family literally prevents him from participating in the kayak race because they were so mad at him, you know? They were like, there was no drama this week and you brought up drama, they're mad at him, as if, you know, it's his fault for getting smacked in the head with an oar and not being happy about it. Anyways, I guess the moral of the story is don't let people smack you in the face with an oar, you know? It's okay to get angry if people do that and if the people around you are like, no, you're not allowed to join our kayak race if you're not gonna let us hit you in the head with an oar then uh, it's okay not to participate. I know that's a very specific moral. Hopefully this never is anything that you have to uh, use this lesson for. But hey, now you know if you're ever involved in an evil kayak race that they uh, you can always just not do it. Also, moral of the story, maybe go outside Minecraft, dude. If you're so angry at your cousin over like 12 seconds of him trying to nicely explain to you how to use an oar, that you smack him in the head with the ore, you might need to go get a little bit more life experience. You know, I understand Minecraft is great, but your cousin isn't a Minecraft pig that you just fed a carrot so now you can feed it to yourself with meat. Like, truthfully, in Minecraft, you can just smack anything with a stick, right? In real life is not like that. You can't smack your cousin in the head with an oar just because you don't like what he did. It also doesn't make sense to me that he got in trouble for it. You can't join the kayak race because you got hit in the head with an oar. Like, don't, don't, how is that his fault, you know? Shouldn't that be a little bit more on the person swinging the oar around than the person whose head was in the way of the oar? Regardless, uh, you know, I guess that's just the way the ball bounces sometimes. Sometimes you don't get to join the kayak race. And overall, if that's your punishment, it, okay. You know, everything was fine until I didn't get to join the 2021 kayak race. That disappointment crushed me and I will never recover. Like, hopefully that's not the case, dude. Hopefully you bounce back fine from not being allowed in the family kayak race. 
But uh, regardless, that'll do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought. And of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications. I am going to take a second to shout something out. I've got a third channel where I post kind of financial stock stuff that I uh, enjoy. If that's something that might interest you, it'll be the top link in the description. Be sure to go check it out. I'd appreciate it. Beyond that, also down in the description, you can find a link to the intro song, a link to my podcast, The Scuffed Cast. And if you really want to help me out, you can use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout. You get a discount on G Fuel. It helps me out, and you get a fantastic energy drink, so be sure to do that. And if you want to be an ultimate legend, the bottom link in the description is going to be a link to my merch store. If you want to go pick yourself up a t-shirt, I'd appreciate it. It is the coolest merch to ever exist, but obviously, I'm a little bit biased. On that note, guys, that'll do it. Like I said press the like button otherwise no joke no scam you will get punched in the throat by a gang of rabid naked mole rats don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and hopefully i'll see you guys all next time with another video i'm out peace